Hello, my electrical listeners of the gaming community. I do so hope that you're having the finest of evenings and are ready to kick back, relax with the finest of treats, the extra finest of treats, and kick some tiny buns. Welcome one and welcome all to another episode of the Survival of the Crafters. Uh, we have a new joiner inside of the realm that is Seek Tret. So I'm assuming that it says Secret with a T. So I'm going to say how to do to my friends right now. And... Uh, Today, Secret has uh, started building this lovely, uh, here we go, this lovely Tower of Cactus, which is a cactus farm he has growing inside of here, and this is right outside of our home, which is down that way. Uh, we're actually just right there, just out of the, the scenario of what we can see, and he has built this beautiful cactus farm in which he is doing right here and he will be growing enough cactus to where he's going to grow a giant cactus over the farm itself so the cactus is going to come out to the sides in the middle there and another one out to the side so he's creating a giant cactus with a cactus farm inside of the cactus so i wanted to show you the progress in which he has started right there and he's made up to the top right there and it is looking pretty fantastic. He uh, actually just joined the realm today. And he is hard at work and right to the top. 1.1 uh, this week, to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, so, and then Miss Destroyer uh, is going to be moving her uh, base of operations. She uh, has pointed me... It is out for a while. Uh, so, That's to the left where just where this, this pillar is here. Okay, so she has chosen right outside of the base here. I flattened out that whole eh, area. Eh, eh. So, oh no. Ah, uh, okay. So I guess I'm going with uh, keyboard and mouse at the moment. So what she did, get out of here. I gotta be, I gotta be explaining. I'm, I need to explain, okay? So she's moving her whole base to this flattened area over here. I guess she's going to make a sand pyramid temple, house, cottage, villa, scallopine, beer, winery. So she's going to make it right outside of here. And uh, I believe the old place that she's going to be using is probably going to be Ace's Villager Farm. In which she will, he will continue inside of there. And it will be the trading town uh, capital area. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over a few things that uh, that we have completed. Uh, Krabby actually blew himself up inside of his TNT uh, jetpack explosion jumper uh, trampoline device. So, <laughs> so we're going to skip on ahead. We've been doing a little bit of work on the texture pack, if you can tell. We're trying to stray away from looking... Uh, just like the John Smith or the Conquest pack, so I've been doing some changes and touch-ups uh, each and every day, if you have been noticing. Um, what we did do right there is we made the, the sand, the bricks, a little bit darker on the edges, gave them some contrast, uh, moved some of the bricks around, moved them inside of place, uh, gave the plants some movement, which we already went over that. Um, gave the lily pads some lovely little flotation there. And I'm like, on crack, let's go. Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, so then we gave the birch a little bit of yellow to there. Light hasn't logged on since yesterday. We had the wither fight yesterday, which we streamed, uh, which is actually the episode right before this one, I believe. Uh, let's see how. We grew some uh, wheat along the side of our little entrance to the nether. The wheat has a little bit of movement to them. Yeah mending for me um so yeah we got a little bit of movement on the wheat during uh its different stages we did a little bit of work on the mine carts uh we rerouted yeah 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 tied tied indeed so uh we did a little bit of work on that which the minecart for the nether no longer takes us to the nether right here. Instead, I did a little canyon building, which is going to take us all the way through here. And it's going to go down underneath, which is going to go down right here. Ah, roller coaster ride. 
and it's going to take us back up because right about here we had something which was already rail carting somewhere else so this is going underneath that and it's taking us hey out it's taking us to the nether right there and uh you could see what i did to the nether portal itself right there is i gave it a little bit a little bit of a pinkish blackish feel on the edges and i gave it a little bit of movement so it swings around more like a portal now uh there we go let's move this there there we go and i already took that down so that swings us around to the original nether portal area um the uh nether rack which was already there i gave it some movement because it kind of looked like brains slash worms anyways so if we move away a little bit we could see that the worms kind of look like they're moving around like guts like maggots so it'll give the nether world a very engaging kind of feel to pack the leaves went back to default texture Er, when you don't have fancy leaves on it, it looks like that. Fancy, fancy graphics. So, um, let's 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 let's. What are we? What are we not up to? Okay, so uh, the bedroom. So I'm gonna go over what I have done inside of my fancy little house right here. So the gravy train starts here because uh, Krabby after. Fancy leaves. Okay, Krabby, after uh, the wither, he started calling me graving instead of grave. So what I did right here... Hey, what the... Why does my grass keep disappearing? Okay, so there was grass right here. Let's uh, let's see if we could just put some cobbleroni right here for now. Okay, there. There. And there. Oh, that guy got blown up by a creeper. Let's give him a sad face. I'm sorry, man. Set my spawn here. Okay, so we're going to open it up, and that's what it does. Uh, for some reason, it's killing the grass along the sides. Another glitch, apparently. Uh, let's see here. So that's on top of sand. That's on top of sand. I don't know what's wrong with it. So we put the uh, nether dragon head, or the ender dragon head, right here where we're entering. I'm going to make these... Right here, the dispensers, I'm going to make their eyes glow up and go down and glow up and go down and glow up and go down. And then we're going to enter this. Down here, we can close it back up. It closes up and it locks on the outside. So anyone from the outside while I'm down here cannot open it back up. They instead have to go around my secret way, but let's, let's leave it open for now. We're going to go inside, uh, close it up. I've started mating some cats down here because I needed some company. I got a villager already down here. I had two again, but one of them decided to despawn once again. I have it to where the chests are just reachable. I already went over that. I uh, added a uh, vending machine to the side of my room here. Gave it a couple treasure chests on the outside. Uh, I would like to plan on making them dispense out some regeneration bottles or something like that when you click it light on. So, yeah, uh, I also did some darkening of this stone right here, changing up the symbols, moving around, misplacing, stuff like that. Uh, let's go a little bit further in here. I gave it a secret pathway along the side here, which then connects to uh, the village. Hey, come on. Which then connects to uh, down here is the strip mine where the hotel connects to. So I've created an entrance for that. Another uh, vending machine along the side. And that right there is our way, our back way in, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then up here is Madame Destroyers. I'm going to change the sign because she's moving. No. What? Don't change my sign. This sign? Oh, yeah, I changed that. So uh, down there, it's going to take us down to where the villager farm is going to be, which, what the? I guess this person wanted back into the house. No, he's not. He's not allowed in the house. I told you. Okay, well, he's he's not longer inside of my house. I guess he just wanted to check it out. So, so, yeah, that's what we did with the house. We opened it up, put some iron doors just in case that guy got free over there. There's another one. Maybe they're still back there somewhere. Um, let's open it back up, close it on the way out. And if for some reason someone goes inside there and decides to lock me out 
I got them with a little secret because I added a little background change up. Let's go to fists right there. Actually, let's grab a cooked pork chop to go. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. So down here, I have a little button which chilling back over there, which a couple of uh, sticky pistons are stuck along the side over here, which is going to open this up, push us down, and then once we get underneath where the water is, it's going to push us back out. So it gets dark underneath the water, so you can't actually tell where you're pressing. But you did it, and it closes right back up. So these open up, the water comes down, pushes you down, and it pushes you right down here, which you then have made it inside of Graves Humble Abode. Extra humble for the humble. So, uh, let's, uh, the only problem with that is I locked the door. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go back out towards Miss Destroyer's old village of town. Or I could go out through the old strip mine and just come out through the hotel. And we need to get some of these villages a little bit more represented. Uh, what is this guy doing? What are you doing in here, buddy? Uh, your fire aspect two. And efficiency five. Very nice. What do you got? What are you doing here? Power five. Wait, why are they in the courts? I don't know. Bane of Anthropods. I'm guessing he's doing something with them. So, yeah, he is doing wait, something. Wait, make sure he's... Wait, look at him. Tell him to not mess with my bunny. Don't mess with the bunnies. She'll hate you forever. Ha! Okay, so we're leaving out here. Please do not hurt my bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, then when we left for the wither, when we finally uh, escaped the wither, we're gonna go down over here. And what we did is there's an emerald block that survived the wither over here. What is this guy doing? You are done for, sir. Done for. The emerald bro block somehow survived the wither, so we put it on top of a, a pedestal along with the sword that killed the wither, and we put it on the edge right here. When we redo the ender dragon, we're going to do the exact same thing, probably on the other side over there, and then, you know, when other bosses, we'll put it on the other corners. When other bosses finally decide to arrive, or when mods have decided to uh, give me enough exploration to where I actually start uh, modding for this. Uh, so yeah, we put the uh, Wither Skull on top of the Emerald and put the sword right there and we called it... What the? The name changed! It was Rick Stickardly and someone came around and changed it. Those little sneaky people. So now it's called the Everlasting Emerald. And over here we have put underneath it a bunch of emeralds and if you click it like that, we have a power that it uh, circulates throughout our little area here. And I believe we have it on haste. A speed. We have it on speed, so we get a bunch of uh, speed nice. bonuses. So the secondary power, we get speed 2 and regeneration. We just need a little bit more area in which it could cover so we can get a little bit faster in more areas. So for right now, that's what we did. And when we decided to spawn two withers, it wasn't the smartest thing for us to do. But you know what? We did it anyways. And uh, it was it was, <laughs> it was was kind of a disaster. So we used a bunch of prismarine, and we got emerald rocks along the top. And we are going to circulate this thing with uh, subscribers within uh, the next few weeks is when we're planning on doing it, when we get a little bit more subscriber base. So, you know, somewhere around 80, 90, 100 more people that, uh, that it's continuously uh, checking us out and whatnot. We'll start throwing names up on top of there and saying, thank you for subscribing. Um, what else? What else did we do? We also... Uh, diamond blocks. Diamond blocks. Where would a diamond block be? Where did I put one? I have a diamond block. Oh, you do? On my sign. On your sign? Okay, so uh, I did a little bit of a texture change on the diamond block. I'm hurrying, hurrying, hurrying. I gave it a little bit of a, a fenced-in kind of look, if you could see right up there. It gives it like the old John Smith mixed with a Conquest, mixed with kind of a stained glass kind of look. So I uh, I did all three of it right there, and then it's got a little bit of a shine going back and forth, if you could see that particular. 
Mm, there it is. Okay. So we got that attached to it. Uh, we did the nether. We did all of that kind of stuff. We did an update. We even talked about the cactus plant that has joined us. Um, we are starting to get a pretty consistent player base, which is really cool. Um, I went over the base, and Krabby has still left this. Ah! Oh! So, yeah, that's, that, that's, uh, that pretty much leaves the gist of it. Wait, wait, did I show them your farm yet? No. I do not think that I have shown do them. Do you have wings? No, I don't. Why? I need them to get on. I need my wings to see your base? Yeah. I'll show them it from far. You won't be able to go in the field. The field of dreams? Yeah. It's her field of dreams wheat farm. She got corn growing and everything. Okay, uh, can you grow corn? No. Well, then it's a corn farm. <laughs> corn should actually be involved inside of this game. Maybe it's like double the size of wheat. That would be really cool. Uh, so come on, we have to climb up here to check it out from a good point of view. I'm. We still have not added dirt along the sides of that. We've got a lot of projects going on here. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited for when season two starts. For when uh, we got some of these major projects done and see what we can come up with on expanding this already super cool base camp that we have already come up with. Yeah, like the bunnies. Uh, Ace is also building a slime elevator, a slime block elevator, which is going to take us to the top of this particular place in which we're going to use as an airport which is going to be way up there when you get when you get way up there inside of the airport you can take off with the elytra and it'll show you which directions lead to what so here is where her old farm used to be she l destroyed that farm and built a giant fountain over there which you could see from right here which takes the waters all the way down and she's grown a gigantic wheat farm over there and another part to the farm over there so she has flattened out all of that land spent many many moons doing all of this fun stuff does he need us to sleep you want to see so he can uh, save his spawn point so we got all that wheat going on inside of there we also need to uh, create a railway through the nether uh, so we can get back and forth pretty easily through there because his people were still getting pretty confused yesterday back and forth. So it did not bring the elytra. So it looks like I'm going to be bouncing one step at a time. Oh, definitely not that way. How am I going to do this? Eh, not used to it. Oh. Man, I guess this is not the way to go. <laughs> well, I am going to go down uh, this way. Oh. Come on! Final... Okay, so we're just going to take the railway area. I have lost half of my gear to the wither because it ate everything, and then once I became naked, uh, I lost stuff even more because he was one-shotting me, and it was very fun from there. He had a very destructive moment in which everyone started lagging out. So many sand blocks all over the place that everyone just started lagging, 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 lagging. So much because we had decided to spawn two withers. Why we didn't decide to spawn three withers would have been way cooler. But you know what? We were only cool enough for two and we only had the skulls for two. So next time we will do one and we'll have a third beacon in which we can work on. I think if we have one, uh, our tactic was pretty good once we finally got him down inside of things, which we uh, we just merely rushed him inside of the end and lag. Between lag and Miss Destroyer's invisibility potions, he did not stand a chance at the end. But in the beginning, he stood a very good chance. In fact, he whooped us up pretty good in the beginning. So what are we doing right now? We are taking that shovel. There's a rabbit. Sit and then uh, Miss Destroyer started uh, breeding rabbits yesterday. I was actually playing Diablo 3 with Zoro. 
and we are whacking things up. And uh, she goes, she's she started working inside of here on the realm all on her own. And next thing I know, she's screaming at me, going, "Oh my God, babe! Oh my God!" I was I was I wasn't even supposed to be here. So she's screaming at me, and uh, I'm like. Girl, girl, calm down, calm down. There's just nothing to be screaming about. You shouldn't be screaming like this. You shouldn't be screaming. She's like, oh my God, babe, oh my God. And then uh, next thing you know, she has rabbits being bred. She she traveled so far to bring all of these rabbits to us. And uh, yeah, where was I going? I always get lost in where I'm going because I'm, I get so excited at what it is that I'm telling people. Okay, so I'm going to grab a bunch of railroad. Oh, let me ask. Uh, uh, uh. Doesn't Ace look like... I don't know. Never mind. Ace's character, he looks like uh, that one guy you watch. But black. Like the same clip. Never mind. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Okay, so... Uh, you got... The rail rotors. So let's uh, let's go ahead and head on out to our little nether spot. Need to grab some railroad, at least some railroad, so it uh, it shows us where to go through the nether, so we can get back and forth a little bit easier and faster. What? Need a railroad. Why did I take this way? We're going to need lots and lots of gold, so I'm actually going to have to go... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, the road with rails. Suckers! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't I can't type all the time and talk like some other people. <laughs> I'm just not good at it. My brain does not work that way. Uh, the jungle wood, I'm actually going to have... I got a little bit of railroad here, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. I can start it with 90. The wheat! That's what we gotta do! Pfft, pfft. This, this, like, gnat has been attacking me right now. He's, he's so mean! So angry! And then, um, we also use the nether at the end of the tracks irregularly at the fortress. It leads straight into the tundra slash snowy area. And your mom. And your mom. That was old Yasimo coming back from the dead. We didn't know he actually still played. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, right on. Um, he has a zombie spawner. Zombie spawner is just... Oh. Oh, sweet. I shall collect! I need that before I start. So Yasimo had came back from the dead just to uh, tell us about moms. <laughs> Hey, don't forget, man, next Thursday. Okay. We're gonna... Are you doing something with moms next Thursday? Yeah, something with moms next Thursday. Yes. We're going to collect mothers. <laughs> collect a bunch of moms and move it to Thursdays. Okay, so where are we going? We're going too deep. Mob spawner right over here, bringing it down. If I... Um... Just need the gold for the power. Yellow gold Mississippi blue. Okay, so he said that there is rails somewhere. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a lot of swords and shovels. Jeez. What was he leading me on? In the zombie spawner supply chest. Okay, so I'm assuming... What's going on here, guys? Penis is what's going on. 
Penises are what's going on. Turn to the left, go into the... I like penis! Babe. Huh? Get out of there. I'm just killing these guys off real quick. I like penis. Okay, so that is off right now. Okay, so go inside that door. This door? Yes. Okay. Make a right. Make a right. And it should be on Ace's supplies. I used to say that. Boundless supplies. Okay. And uh, none, none there. He's got uh, a bunch of stuff there. No rails. Um, no rails. I am not seeing it, I any rails. It outside inside the garage. That's but he's got some stuff. Okay, maybe not there, maybe not there. It wouldn't go in those because the hopper is connected. Oh, I see. Okay. Boundless, endless sub supplies. Let's double check right here and see if he's got... He's gonna be like, what you snooping through, dog? What you snooping? We ain't snooping. Just checking a few things out, man. What did he say just a minute ago? Okay, I'd give you gold, but... Uh, gotta mine and collect, run soon, anyways, sure. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I wasted a trip. Darn it! What about here? No? Uh, it looks like I already got some, so we're gonna start with this 90 here. Take me! What the? Broken little cart? Darn him, now we gotta run. <laughs> okay, come a little bit faster, okay. Double tap, boom, boom. If you sprint and jump at the exact same time, you will go even faster unless you hit um, a wall. Apparently I hit a wall. See, look at that. Speed stir demons. Ricola. And Ricola inside of the background. Mike, 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 Mike. Uh, you want to stop by Tuesday before Thursday so we can go over some of the stuff? Uh, is that possible? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll hit you up probably on Monday or Sunday to give you a reminder. What's up? What do you need that for? We're setting up in the living room. Oh. James and Mike are going to play Damn. Diablo. Damn it. <laughs> why does he have the, why does he prefer this weird ass tuning? The gravy train, it starts here, and it looks like it's also gonna end here. As this is the end of the episode because we're out of time, thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to Mike's Music Gaming Channel as we have a ton of more music videos, nudes, and sick forums of Miss Destroyer's awesome entertainment for your viewing and listening pleasure. To one and to all, have a delicious evening. If you enjoyed the music at the beginning or at the end of the episode, please feel free to visit our official website, which is www.thestillwinter.org, as we give out free music at our subscribers uh, once a month to the subscribers once a month to our subscribers. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Still winner Ian out.